you guys on the links well uh facebook group um you guys are freaking awesome so <laughs> i just wanted to get that out of the way um so i did fix my uh i fixed my iphone uh connectivity it was the um i had to fall back to 2.4 gig there's a setting on the iphone uh to put it in compat compatibility mode and that will uh let you uh, do your hotspot to the to the Linkswell Gen 4. Um, so far, so good. I did download some updates, and uh, it went super fast. So I got that out of the way. Um, I own the sound issue with the uh, with the Bose adapter. Um, I, I did go in here and I changed the settings to um, to stock amp or to whatever it was let me see if i can find it here uh i think it was under system uh where was it i thought it was under system yeah factory amp so i i did turn the factory amp uh to on the the only thing i really noticed a difference in in that was it it did basically reduce um the gain so i, th I don't know exactly what what this is doing but it just seems like it so you can tell so it just seems like to me what they're doing something kind of hokey in here and they're it's it's just changing the gain i don't know exactly where the gain is if it's in the links will itself or if it's in the outputs maybe you guys can help me better understand what this what this actually does but i just think it's reducing the gain so i think m my perception of what something should sound like and what maybe other people's perception of what sounds good are, are two entirely different things i've um i've installed systems in boats trucks cars i mean everything so i kind of have an idea of what it it should sound like i mean it's probably to the average person that this will sound completely fine I'll, I'll just go ahead and put that out there but to 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 me the sound you know that this that i don't know what goes on in this box right here but apparently it's obviously it's, it's a dsp so we we know that that's how you guys probably had to get the sound to the bose system through the can bus and all that kind of crap but anyway i don't know what's going on in this thing there's probably just too much going on there's some compression going on there's some you know signal processing going on whatever but anyway to me the sound is it's too tinny it's too bright i mean it's almost to the point to where it literally makes my ears ring at just a normal volume okay so um and i don't know you're not going to pick it up through the gopro uh mic I, I do know that but it just i don't i don't know i just i had high hopes for the um for the bose adapter but i'm kind of reserving myself to the fact that i have to just bypass all that and just go with a separate amp and hook up to the rcas but then my next question will be is Will, will I get the same quality of sound out of this unit from the RCA outputs? That, that's the only thing I'm concerned about now. I don't want to go down the road of getting an amp, replacing all my speakers, doing all that, and have the same tinny, uh, kind of high-pitched graininess in, in all the, you know, anything probably over, you know, I guess 10,000 kilohertz or 10,000 hertz, you know, up, up in the high ranges. The lows seem fine, the mids seem fine. It's just the highs. It's just, I don't know. But if you guys have any suggestions, I'm throwing them out there. You guys have been great on a Linksville group, Linksville uh, Facebook group. It's awesome. Like I said, I've already fixed a couple of things. I fixed the uh, Wi Fi. Um, oh, the other thing I do have is, and stick with me on this video, guys. Um, I'm sorry, but there, the only other thing is I have the. I do have the um, DVR uh, web uh, dash cam here, and the other issue is when I go to the DVR, where I'm assuming that's where we go, 
it's not uh it doesn't work and in fact when i click when i click on this add or whatever and settings there's no settings i can't i can't change the settings at all and i'll show you guys where i have this plugged in i have this plugged in i got my towel down here so we're all good i have it plugged in to uh, and that's a phone link that's where that's where i got my uh my iphone plugged into so that's all good i've got my i need to get it closer because my wi-fi cable was a little short i'm sorry my wi-fi antenna was just, it just you guys need a longer cable for that 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 what there's all the way in the corner of my um right a pillar and it i barely have enough cable to to reach the radio when i'm working on it when it's in the dash it's fine obviously but um i do have my dvr camera plugged in too i gotta find it here it's a maze of wires the one thing about it is there's no soldering you just plug and play you plug everything up so that was that was that was cool i gotta find my okay so right here i have the the dash cam dvr camera whatever you're gonna call it just plugged in straight up to the usb port um going into i believe this one is usb one so that's the one that has the phone the phone link and then it has just a separate usb port so oh the other thing is i'm missing i do not have a connector I, they didn't send me a connector for uh usb2 i couldn't find it couldn't find it anywhere that's the only connector i have open left on the back of the uh links wheel so anyway if you guys could uh help me ask these questions and maybe figure out the audio situation i'd really appreciate it but that's kind of where i'm at um so far so good i mean I, I i like the concept and all it's great but um uh we'll see how it turns out um i i just think the um the execution might be a little off at least for for me but I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Catch you later. Bye.